So uh, with that, we're ready to place our ramps. Now, in order to place these exit ramps, we need the transition lane edge. And so what we'll be doing is um, we use a single offset partial and we'll probably want to just base our lane off of uh, the element here where the center line uh, shouldn't really matter. Um, let's say N and we'll let this snap on to the end of our geometry and that actually should be closer to 48 feet so there we go and we'll hit end on the length and maybe we want to take a length somewhere around um, 300 feet And while we're using this tool, we'll go and do the opposite side. Yeah, 300 feet. And then we'll use a taper. We'll use a 10 to 1 ratio. So we'll... Um, Shave down past. We bring it past the edge of pavement line. And then we'll complex it together. Now we we created the cell, we complexed it away. So I'll do the same thing here. and now we're ready to place our ramps so because I've developed the cell with the actual ramp uh, I want to take control of the corridor the ramp corridor as well so we'll come in to um, civil cells place and we'll grab our upper ramp off ramp with gore it's an on-ramp but let's name it so we'll start with this upper one and we're gonna use the exit lane edge of pavement the highway edge of pavement and then last we'll grab our ramp geometry And after a few seconds, it shadows, and I know the placement of those construction lines is correct. So we'll just reset and accept it. And this will create my ramp with the gore area in place. And I'll just zoom down in. And I probably have some work to do in this gore area. But uh, I can come back later and clean that up. And now we want to use the bottom. So for the last ramp, um, what we want to take note of is it is critical when constructing your geometry that geometry be tangential to avoid overlaps and so forth. So in our cell, the geometry was put together tangential. And so uh, in this case what we ended up with was a, a very very slight overlap so it was actually um, in the hundreds or thousands uh, of an inch or of a foot rather and so what I did here just to avoid any conflicts was uh, I moved my geometry I went into the geometry file and uh, set the offset just slightly larger that way no part of this arc moving away from the offset would overlap. 
And so depending on how your cell is constructed, you maybe can make up for it. In my case, um, the cell needs everything to be tangential. So uh, we're going to come in and place that cell and we'll just grab it again. Off ramp with gore. And we want to first grab the exit lane, edge of pavement, and then the highway, edge of pavement, and then finally the geometry. And after a few seconds, it begins to shadow, but uh, incorrectly. So you see we have manipulators to reverse the direction uh, of our um, ramp elements. And we can just move those around until we get um, the elements looking or set in place the way we need them. And um, if for some reason it fails, uh, we want to go back and... This transition is a little tricky. It doesn't always show up. Uh, it's, you don't see a change, but if it were to fail, just go back and reverse it. So we'll just uh, accept the placement. And the cell processes uh, in place. And you see uh, another item sometimes um, because of the order of processing, some piece of a profile won't come in in time. So we have to um, reprocess the cell occasionally. And we'll just click on that. And that jumps back up. So now our, our cell is in place. And we're ready to... Uh, move on in our design so the last thing we'll do in this series or this session rather is we'll just um, grab onto that cell and um, by the end manipulator and we'll just drag it around Watch it update. And we'll do the same thing here. We'll zoom out. And from there, our designer working on the 95 corridor can pick up and drop his entry, merging entry, onto the corridor. Okay, so uh, what we'll look at in the next section is some cleanup and clipping. So we will uh, clean up our cells a bit. And we'll clip out the corridor, and that should take us all of about 10 minutes. Thank you.